murderers. That means we got your murderers, and then of course we got your guys named Todd. You ain't a Todd, are you? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. All right, good, good. I'll get along well with Todd. <laughs> now over here, this is the death row cells. My friend Charlie Powell spent his last 30 days of life. If you look out the window, you see you got a beautiful view of. What do you see out there, sir? Gallows. The gallows. That's right. See, part of your punishment here in Florida is not only have to spend your last 30 days of life looking at the gallows, you have to actually spend your last 30 days of life building your own gallows. That's right, sir. That's right. You've got to actually build the instrument of your own demise. Look at it this way, though. Before you go out, get to learn a new skill. Carpentry. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Now, over there in that cell is Mr. Lee. See, Mr. Lee got sick. So we had to separate it from the general population and bring it down here to an isolated cell. See, disease runs rampant in this here, Jeff. So if you don't nip it in the blood right away, it becomes a major, major problem. Now, Mr. Lee is waiting for a doctor to show up. The only time the doctor shows up here in this jail is when they want to pronounce you dead. So needless to say, I'm pretty sure Mr. Lee in there is probably on his deathbed. See what it is there, guys? See what it is there? Hey, Lee! Hey, Lee, we have people! Blue, look in there. Is he moving? <laughs> no? Yeah, he ain't said nothing for like two or three days. I had a feeling the doctors might be coming soon. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's say that the birdcage wasn't enough to adjust someone's attitude and they still want to act up around Shiro. Mm hmm. Lone Star, you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> you know what the name of that cell is behind you? Solitary yeah. confinement. That's right. 30 days in the hole will change your mind about every bad thing you ever done did do. Let me tell you all about that cell right there. First of all, if you can't already tell, there ain't no windows in that cell. It is darker than my ex-wife's soul in there. No <laughs> Secondly, there ain't no mattress in there either. You sleep on the floor naked as the day you were born. And this concrete does not warm up at night. And it's very unforgiving if you happen to sleep. I know that last part don't make a lot of sense. Why would I slip and fall in solitary confinement? No bucket. That's right. That brings me to the worst part about that cell. There ain't no bucket in that there cell. So that means the first day of a 30-day stretch, y'all, before they close that outer door and you can't see no more, you might want to choose on day one which side of that cell you want to sleep and which side of that cell you want to take care of your own personal business. And keep in mind, you're going to be locked in there with whatever comes out of your body for the next 30 days. So don't go mix another side of the cell you're on. Otherwise, by day 30, when they finally let you out, you come out real sticky. In fact, I've never seen anybody come out of that cell after 30 days not sticky. And one of the reasons for that is not every day, but every other day. You get one cup of water and you get a little piece of moldy bread. Anybody know what moldy bread does to your digestive tract? Yeah, it flushes you right out. So like I said, don't mix up what side of the cell you're on. And it's hard not to because it's so dark in there you can't even see your own hand in front of your face. Oh, yes. After the first two or three days of being in that cell, Probably start talking all little critters walking around until they're five. Oh yeah, after about a week goes by, about ten days go by, and you start going full on bonkers from being in there. Same little critters you've been talking to this whole time. They start talking back. <laughs> oh yes, I miss my friend Fred. Let me get everyone's attention right over here to this photograph. Now, this is one of the only photographs that you're ever going to see of a public execution. It's actually illegal to take pictures. Big Sheriff Joe Perry here. If you've seen anybody out there in the crowd with a camera, he would confiscate it right away. Now, believe it or not, guys, the big sheriff Joe Perry is actually a man of science. That's right, science. And he was approached by these two scientists, came all the way down from New York. And what they're trying to find out is that, A, when a man's being hanged, are you still in there while it's happening? And B, are you suffering? Are you in pain while it's happening? So they asked permission to question this man right here. Now, this is Sim Jackson. Now, I don't feel bad for Sim Jackson. Sim Jackson's a killer. See, him and his wife got into an argument, and he pulled out a straight razor. You know the type they used to shave with? Now, let's just say he cut the conversation with her rather short. As in ear to ear show. Now, of course, Simi Jackson agrees to be part of this whole experiment. So he has a nice long winded speech, even holding his own flowers. And at the end of the speech, he says, I'm sorry for what I've done, and all my friends, I'll see you in hell. Heaven, guys. He actually said heaven. I don't think that's where he went. I think y'all know exactly where he went. So they put the noose around his neck, they drop the hammer, Sim Jackson comes down. Scientists waste no time. They rush right up to him and they say, Sim, Sim, if you're still in there, you can hear us. Please give us a sign. Say yes. Make a fist. Sim Jackson, folks, you made it this. And then they said, Sim, are you in pain? If you are once again, please give us a sign. Say yes, make a fist. And once more, Sim Jackson made a fist. And he held it for ten long, agonizing minutes, folks, oh. until eventually his life left his body and he met his maker. Hmm. See, what happened was normally they put the noose on the side of your neck so that way we can drop it, break your neck instantly. Right? Well, this one had slipped to the front of his neck, opened up his airway, allowing him to sit there and dangle like a fish from the string out of water. For ten long minutes, the man was still fully conscious. Four minutes, he was unconscious, and then finally, they declared him dead. Now, don't get me wrong, I know the man deserves.
shows every single minute of what he got from murdering his wife. I get that. But still, that also sounds like a terrible way to go, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, let's move on to something more fun, shall we? Anybody here a fan of jewelry? Anybody like jewelry? Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry? Yes, good. So here's my finest 